Before we get into using this system, we're gonna go over the whole keypad and its functions. So first you have your green indicator. This indicates that everything in the system is normal and the system is ready to be armed. You also have a lock here. This indicates that the system is armed. You have your amber or orange light here. This indicate that you have some sort of trouble on your keypad. You also have this green circle with a line through it. This indicates that there is AC power available. When power is no longer available to the panel, that light turns off. Here you have your user functions. You have your stay button. When you press and hold stay for two seconds, this lets your system arm in a stay mode. It disables your interior motion and arms the perimeter. You also have your away button. This arms the entire system, including motions and the perimeter. You have your chime. Press and hold the chime for two seconds. This turn on the chime, whether you want to go in or out, you will hear a buzzer. You have your reset here. This is if you have smoke detectors on your system, you can press and hold the reset for two seconds and this will reset your smoke detector. You have your exit button. This button lets you exit the house if the system is armed. So for example, if you press and hold the exit button while the system is armed, it disarms the system for two minutes and rearms itself. Here you have your keypad. And for example, your pound key, this is your clear button. This is your cancel button. Whenever you make a mistake, you hit this pound and this clear. If you're entering your code and you screw up, just press pound and start back over. Star would be like your inner key on the keypad. So anytime you're going into a menu, you press star and that's like your enter key. On the left hand side of your keypad, you have a left arrow and a right arrow. Something they did different on this panel is they separated these emergency buttons. As you can see, now you need two fingers to trip this button. If you want to set off a fire, you press and hold these two buttons and this will set off the system. You want to set off a medical, press and hold these two buttons and it set off the system. You want to set off a panic, press these two buttons and you set off the system. For example, all these emergency button and your function key, you have to press and hold these buttons for two seconds to activate them. There was multiple ways to arm and disarm your system. So to arm your system in stay mode, you can press and hold stay for two seconds. Notice when you arm in stay mode, there is no delay. It just arms silently and your arm light is on. To disarm the system, you put in your master code or a user code. Another way, arm your system in away mode. When you put your system in away mode, it arms the entire system and you hear the entry exit countdown. You can also go to the keypad and just put your code in. Now by default, this arms in the away mode. To do a quick arm, you can press star zero and this arms the system as well in an away mode. So another way to arm and disarm your system is by using a remote. So if you arm And also another way to arm your system is using a proxy. Okay, so for example, we have a trouble light on the keypad. Notice we have a trouble light here and let's see what the trouble is. You press star two, it says service required. You press star, it tell you loss of clock. If you scroll over, it will display any other issues with the system. You press star, it takes you into programming the clock.
So this is one way to program the clock, but for example, we're gonna go in a different way and program the time. Notice once you pound out the light go away because it believed that you've put the correct time in the system. But for example, we're gonna go in the system and we're gonna set up the time. If your panel ever fall out of sync with the correct time, this is how you would change your time. You press star six and your master code. You scroll over, date and time, star is your enter, you put the time in. So whatever time it is at the moment, you just put that time in. If it's um, past 12 p.m., you wanna use military time in this system. So for example, it's one o'clock, you can just type in 13, uh, 25, and that should be 125. Set the date up to 25th. Star. All right, let's turn a chime on or off. So for example, if you open the door, if you find this sound annoying, you can press and hold the chime and that turns the chime off. So now if I open the door, nothing happened. But I like the chime on. So if you ever wanted to change your contrast or any user settings in this system, you want to go into star six master code. And if we go through the master uh, menu, you notice you have your event buffer. Your event buffer pertains to if you have something as a history in the system, you can go through your event buffer, for example, and see that you've done Whatever you've done in the panel, it recorded. If you go in and outside of programming, it tells you if you arm or disarm the system, it tells you. So you press pound, that bring you back one. So for example, you have your date and time. You have, this is where you set up your auto arm and auto disarm for the panel. You have a system test, system service, user call up, late to open as you see there's a lot of control in the user setting you have your brightness and you have your contrast you have your buzzer control so if you hear notice there's sounds as i'm pressing the key if you don't like that sound you can press the star and you can turn down your buzzer but i like the buzzer on i like to know what that i'm pressing the button Authorized update. So as you can see, there's a lot of features built in these keypad that you can play with. We want to add other users to our system and I'll be showing you how to add or delete a user from the system. So there's a different menu go in when you're trying to access users. So you need the master code again. You press star five. Notice I'm not going to star six. I'm going into star five, you can use a tag or you can use the code. So for example, this is the master code. This is the secondary code if I wanted to add an additional code. So if we want to do access code, yes, we press star to enter. So five, six, seven, eight is our new code. We already have that in the system, so notice that we got that long beep, that means that, hey, you can't add this code to the system. So for example, we're gonna put a different code. We're gonna go four, three, two, one. It liked that code, so it took it. So for example, we can give this code a label. So you press star. So if you like the way we used to text back in the days, here's where you can apply those old knowledge. So for example, you wanna enter a name, so we can call this user Alex. So now that you have your name, hit pound once, and then you can hit star again to verify that you put the name in correctly. Okay, so let's say we want to get rid of Alex code. How do I delete Alex from the system? We go in here and we do star five again, master code. Scroll over to Alex name, 
hit star, go into his access code, and you press star. Now you go in there, you notice that Alex code is all gone. All right, so let's say you have a trouble on your system. How do you get to that trouble? You first then put star two, and it will display trouble. At this point, we have no trouble. But what do you do if you do see a trouble? You refer to the user manual. Now the user manual have all of the troubles labeled in here and it gives you steps and steps of what you can do um, before you call service. Now, one thing you must make sure anytime you have a system installed is you want to make sure that your emergency key works. And for example, if you press fire, it should go off. If you set off a medical, silent, you will never hear it. You set off a panic, So at this point, we went over all the function of the keypad. We talked about what these light mean. We also talked about the function key and how they operate. We also noted that the star is your enter and the pound is like your clear or it bring you one step back if you're in programming. We also talked about the left and right arrow. You can navigate through the menus and here as well, we have your emergency keys and these should always work. So make sure you test these and make sure they work. And one good tip I have for you is to test your system weekly to make sure that it operates the way it should. Like always guys, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this video and I will catch you on the next one.